The newest Pokemon set, Surging Sparks, is officially released. I got a message from the Discord server that woke me up this morning saying that the Pokemon Center ETBs were in stock. When I went over to the Pokemon Center, though, it showed that everything was sold out. However, when you click on these actual individual links, so this landing page says sold out, but when you click on these, it shows that booster boxes are in stock, purchase limit of six, uh, 161, uh, obviously MSRP. Booster bundles are in stock at $26, purchase limit of 25, uh, MSRP again. And the sleeved uh, sleeve packs, same thing, purchase limit of 10 at 449 per pack. Those are all available as well. When I clicked on the Pokemon Center ETB, it actually was available when I first started recording this video. Purchase limit of four again, so you could get a sealed case but by the time I, like two minutes later, I had refreshed it, it was sold out already. So the Pokemon Center boxes are already gone. That's a little bit unfortunate. I don't know how many people were able to get in there. I wasn't able to get my video out in time. We're gonna do a little update on some of the other products from Surging Sparks, starting with, so here's the Pokemon Center. Uh, this is not the Pokemon Center ETB, sorry. This is the regular ETB and it looks like on release, some of these products, some of these singles might be coming down. We got this one. I mean, once again, it's not really coming down yet and it's maybe a little too early. These were going for like 46 and they've come down to like 45 with recent sale at 44. I'm not sure how much of this product will, will come down. Even the singles, like at least initially, might take a little bit of time for some of it, but I think some stuff like the booster boxes might just go on another run. But for those of you that haven't picked up a booster box, these have come down to 148, at least temporarily. I, they were up to 163, right? Uh, we talked about that being over MSRP and they went down to 148. However, they might be shooting back up again already. 159, 158, 151, 151, 159 last solds on TCG player. So from my understanding, and I'm not positive that this is how it works, but I've heard that when not everybody can that sells on TCG Player can list uh, for pre-release. I'm not sure if that's true, um, but that's what I've heard. I, I think that's for singles. I don't know if that is also for sealed product. So if that is the case for sealed product as well, I would assume that a lot of people would dump some product on there uh, trying to make some money, right? Some, some quick cash if they weren't able to to post them before. So we might see a little dip and then it might just kind of rocket ship back up. I would expect these these booster boxes to continue running. So this might've been a, a buy-in zone for some people. But uh, yeah, just keep an eye on these charts. We don't know where things are gonna go. Uh, we're gonna take a look at a few singles at the end, but here's the Pokemon Center ETB. Now you can see this is a big old, right? So we were seeing, I mean, pre-release was around 150. It went up to like 160, not that much higher than this. And now it's come down 152. I'm seeing last sold at 85 and 103, 103, 98. So if you missed out, I, I don't, I, I don't know if we might get a small, very small restock again for the Pokemon Center ETBs. We might. Currently you got about a hundred bucks is the lowest listed 102 102 for pokemon center etbs on tcg player might be able to find something better currently on ebay you know maybe take a look there but it looks like maybe this 85 sale might be one of the lowest so the, the average price is 150 so we'll see where these go but i was really surprised i'm not totally surprised but i was a little surprised that they sold out so quickly uh, but the hype i mean the hype train is here for every product now uh, for who knows how long, right? This is just kind of the Pokemon market that we live in currently. So next up we have a few singles, okay? And this is a little too early, I do understand. We're just, right, it's release day, I'm excited, okay? Uh, the Latias, the EX is a special illustration rare connected art card, currently the second highest card. It started out pre-release like 216, 200, and it looks like it's coming down. Uh, last sold 178, 175, 175, 174. And all before that, you can see 200 sales here. So once again, people being able, there's 32 of these currently listed on TCG. Lowest is 180. So that's not totally a surprise. We kind of saw that with the Greninja 
with Twilight Masquerade. I'll see if I can pull that up for you guys. Um, I did not have that prepared. We will pull that up real quick. Just for this video, I should have had this up. If I'm gonna make a comparison, I should probably have it up. Uh, so, if we go back on the six month chart. So, pre-release came out $158, right? Came back down to 118, right? Which is what we're seeing with the, the Latios, um, probably some of the other cards as well. And then it ran up, it came back down, and then it just went on a run, right? So in my mind, I'm like, this could, that these cards could Greninja. I don't know. We don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody can know. It's the market's too crazy. But then you have the Pikachu on the other hand, uh, the most valuable card in the set. It's up 6% over its pre-release numbers, which is just up and away. So pre-release was 300, went down to 298. And it's not up like crazy, 318. But last sold, we're seeing 345, 345, 385, 348. This is one of those cards where I could see it kind of going to the moon and then coming down. I, I don't know. Nobody can know, right? Uh, all we do know, we don't have official pull rates, but from what we've been hearing, the pull rates are pretty brutal. So I could see, especially with the hype of the market, this being a very expensive card. Speaking of that, you guys are going to... Check this out. This is uh, this really, honestly, really blew me away. Now, this isn't like confirmed paid or anything, but check this out. That Pikachu that uh, we put on our watch list the other day that was at a thousand dollars. This was at a thousand dollars. PSA ten, probably the first one, first one I've seen. I, this has to be fake, right? Eighteen thousand. This has to be fake. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, you know, it's this was at like eleven thousand when I pulled this up like a few minutes ago. This has to be fake. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, that's not right. That's not right. However, something to consider that I've also heard is that the quality control in this set is pretty bad. So getting that PSA 10 and that Pikachu, not only will you have probably have to pull open around 700 packs to even pull the Pikachu, right? Your odds of pulling a PSA 10 copy might be pretty low. I don't think it's $18,000. Come on, guys. It's not that crazy. But uh, just something interesting to think about. So the release is here. We're seeing a dip in some sealed product. We're seeing some singles come down. We're seeing some singles just take off. Uh, we didn't look at all of the singles yet. We'll do a more in-depth video probably next week uh, when we got some more sales data to really like sink our teeth into. But I just wanted to make this video kind of, uh, it's been a lot of Surging Sparks and Prismatic lately, but uh, Surging Sparks is officially out. I don't even have my boxes, unfortunately. Uh, my Pokemon Center ETBs haven't arrived yet. My booster boxes uh, finally shipped. I paid for uh, a little bit of the extra shipping to like double box it, make sure it's all good, but it shipped, didn't ship till yesterday. I don't know, I'll probably have it next week. So unfortunately I cannot do in the opening, I was going to open at least a booster box, a few boxes, right? Booster box and maybe an ETB, maybe a few booster boxes. I don't know. But I don't even have my cards yet. So uh, that's a little bit unfortunate for me. But it is what it is. And yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. What's going to happen with the set? Is it just going to continue to go to the moon? Are things going to level off? Is it going to go to the moon till Prismatic starts to get hyped and then that's it? And then everyone forgets about it? I don't know. So uh, all, I, all I know is that I'm going to continue to give you guys daily uh, updates on the market, what cards are taking off, what sets are going crazy. And yeah, daily videos. So if, if you guys are this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, do yourself a favor, do, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. I'm doing daily Pokemon collecting and investing content. We talk about all the latest sets like Surging Sparks. We got the news. Whenever uh, Prismatic Evolutions drops new reveals, I'll post videos about that here. And we'll do uh, update videos on what cards are going crazy, right? I'll talk about some investing stuff. And yeah, but that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.